reverser, how pertinent. The reverser on the ego. Neither male nor female, but both at once. The androgyne reverser stands upon a desolate desert. Reversal was the subject of the whole new teachings of the Carmel dictation, symbolized by the improbability of reversing the entire River Nile. And the reverser was known as the key card of the new tarot. The water bearer was another name for Aquarius. The feet of the former angelic temperance card seldom touched the ground, and the water she poured from one pitcher to the other she conserved rather than pouring it down into the earth. Now the reverser stands firmly grounded, an alchemical vessel for the continuous transmutation between water and fire. Into the androgen's open right hand rains virginal water, while from the left hand pours down spiritual fire. The reverser correctly channels flow. This fire could also be a warning of future annihilation unless we each work on our own inner development and pour it into service where it slows down and changes the whole sandy field. For we're all parts of one being, the desert sand. We're all small, equal grains of sand. Each is a part of one, the sand, the desert. Sand has always been an impersonal life symbol. Therefore, in this card, we all get back to that complete reversal of working for the greater whole, rather than for the egocentric, competitive, I have to get better than you, or any other selfish or scientific aggrandizement. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. set foot on the moon in 1969. Can man change from increasing his technical knowledge for further material aggrandizement and turn back with gratitude for what he already has? This beautiful, beautiful Earth was looked at objectively from the moon for the first time. Will he continue to appreciate what a glory it is? A great living organism? Was not that when this big reversal actually began. The reverser is the new returning to I am that I am. The Christ spirit knocking at every door. I am that which I am seeking. I don't have to try to show anyone anything except that which I am. Each of us is an individual lens, a hawk, as it turns and wheels between the sun and the earth. The same marvelous being that is in every other person. It's an understanding that the one is manifested to everything. And you cannot separate and say, I am that one, for truly, I am that one. We are legion. Now turn over the final card. On the place of the persona, this will show the outward manifestation seen in the world. The feeler, here the great earth mother from the renewer book has withdrawn her head from death's cloak and reveal herself as she is, the feeler. Again, all signs point to an immense change in man's appreciation of the feminine. Behold the empress of the universe, the feeler, reaching out of the night to all beings with compassion and understanding. Crowned by the glyph of the goddess of love, Venus, she will never say no to love. Demand nothing, give all. This is true oneness and expression, 
one with all that exists through inner oneness with all parts of oneself. Recognize the feeler shall change the world in the Aquarian age. The snakes of life around her ankles symbolize the poles of the sexes. Feminine and masculine, love and will leading her forever forward. As she walks with outstretched arms full of vibrant strength, the feeler is the prime mover. And behold the difference between this present book of the feeler and its ancestral trump in Atlantean times, the indomitable Mother Stern. Menacing, Mother Stern sits upon her throne, the pyramid, with authority controlling even the sun in her left hand. What enormous power, what austerity. Now compare this with the sample from the medieval time. Here, the Empress has become subservient to her emperor, fearful and immobile on her throne. Here, she is guarded by his shield, by his sword. Now, as the Fila, she has left her throne behind her and reaches out to touch all of her manifestations, to grace it with her love, with her hand, and warm it with her heart. Her hands shine through the starlight, seeking other hands, other beings, all space emanating through her fingertips. And now we'll draw the outcome. The result of all that we've been speaking about in this prophecy for the Aquarian age. The Virgin. The Virgin card was the world card of the medieval deck. Card number 21, the last card. Today, she still represents the world, the totality of the earth. Yet the Virgin is a completely new virginal being. Virgin matter in an ultimate sense, neither masculine nor feminine. Just beingness in motion. The Virgin eternally dances with the energy created by the poles of power. Positive and negative, gripped between her toes. Her unseen masculine nature leaves the dance and keeps the balance while she twirls round his axis. Ribbons are held in both of her hands. Obviously, the Virgin is in perpetual motion. For being will never stop. The ribbons will never fall. As the world in the medieval deck, she was surrounded by the four fixed signs of the zodiac, the male cross. And in the previous Atlantean deck, the female cardinal cross surrounded her. I think it very pertinent that in this, the Aquarian rendition of the cards, the four corners contain the mutable cross of the zodiac. Love and gratitude for all that is given to us is represented here by the 22 roses which surround her. Gratitude for all that is given to us by life. Love for all, the whole. The Virgin is a grand card. She symbolizes being and a new definition for God or the creative principle. For the word is not a noun. It is a verb, the verb to be. We are all being together. The whole universe is being. All moved by the great force of eternal life. The royal maze, the royal way of the tarot is a never-ending meaning for all of us. This reading for the future is indeed full of promise. Five fingers make a hand. You are no longer a stranger in a strange land. You have centered and found the language you have sought. You have solved the way to speak. Truly, the royal maze conceals no secret. Secrets are a thing of the past. No secrets remain once the secret is known as motion. Why be threatened by love? Why be unwilling to give yourselves to another, to all others? Love, 
for there the future lies. Love, for the future is in your own hands. Understanding is given. We are legion. May the blessing of the imperishable brotherhood of being rest ever upon thee in peace eternal.